Hello everybody and welcome to the second broadcast of the day. I'm trying to join the game right now and it is not working. Hold up. Today we have another show match of the No Smoking Cup 5. Last week we had Sheik versus Cash already. And today we're going to have Dice versus Blade. Hmm. Fail to join the game. What the heck? Uh, having slight issues. Should be resolved soon. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now we are in. That is good. And yeah, the No Smoking Cup is something that normally happens annually, sponsored by the wonderful Nightmare 2077. It's a tournament all about new maps. A small-scale tournament that is attempting to showcase new maps to hopefully reinvigorate the Pro Warcraft 3 ladder pool or map pool and be a little help with that. And of course, the most important thing here are going to be the maps themselves. Brightwater Oasis, Crystals Below, Deja Vu, Full Moon, Rune Mall, Talon Rift Coast, and Zul Alor are our seven maps for this tournament and for these show matches. Like I said, last week we had Cash vs. Sheik already. It's going to be a full best of seven and Dice vs. Blade, the two other races this time around, going to be getting showcased. Yeah, um, Blade is certainly uh, a colorful character that we haven't seen too much lately and in our tournaments uh, was banned in the past. But I'm not the organizer. I'm not the host of this tournament. So I wouldn't want to lay any judgment on uh, the parties involved. So uh, I'm just here as an observer and I'm looking forward to some interesting gameplay we had a very close series between Cash and Sheik the last time around. And I'm looking forward to what this is going to be. I'm always a big fan of discovering new maps and trying to work continuously on the map pool, trying to keep things fresh. In fact, just earlier today, I tried to urge Ted to uh, include new, more new maps like Shallow Grave and Springtime. But here now we are on the cutting edge, the bleeding edge of the uh, map development scene. These maps basically nobody has seen yet. Unless you are really, really deeply involved. And we start right now. Best of seven show match. Let me add in another high production value text right here so we know which map we're playing on. Boop. Alrighty, so let's start this. 
there's also one additional little nifty adjustment here. Um, these maps have been made with custom models for the buildings especially, which is why all the buildings have like a new special skin for all the races. We can see the Tree of Life here looking a bit reminiscent of the Ancient of War. And uh, the Moon Wealth and Altar having a lot more woodwork than we're used to seeing. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Shout out goes out to the map makers as always for putting in a lot of work and producing a lot of detail. Oh, the human map, uh, the human base, I mean, looking quite Night Elf inspired, I want to say. Forces are under attack. A, bit, a little bit of overlap between the different races here. There are also some heroes and some units that look a bit different, but uh, most of the units are the same. Oh, here's one, the archer. This kind of looks like the campa campaign archers, but I think the the cloak is a bit different. Demon hunter looks the same, and so does the arc mage and the footies and stuff. <clears throat> Not the easiest camp here as the first one, but with the damage of the militia, it is doable, and that should be a fast level 2 on the Arc Mage then. Demon Hunter coming across. Dice is a big fan of the Demon Hunter. How much can he do here? Grab the first camp already. Is it gonna be immolation? It sure is. Oh, huge last hit. Oh, and he got it! Oh! <laughs> That's almost a game winning last hit. That is so big. Dice with perfect movement and a good last hit there from the Demon Hunter. Lots of damage also thanks to the claws and that feels bad for Blade. Archmage stuck on level 1. Needs 52 more experience. I like the moon wells especially. With the exception of the shrubbery here. <laughs> the shrubbery looks a bit uh, minimalistic, but the rest pretty cool. On the different maps, by the way, as if this wasn't enough already, on the different maps there are different skins are yet again. Uh, I think Nightmare said there's like uh, three different themes, so to speak. Winter, spring, and fall, or something? Trying to have a different seasonal look on the buildings. Alright, but now Blade being aggressive for the first time. He did get the level 2, but the Demon Hunter has an experience lead. Quite a bit. Attack. Oh, nice save there on the archer, the Immolation trying to deal with the footies. But of course, Immolation isn't as sick as it used to be anymore. Doesn't even have mana burn, by the way. That's always a bit questionable to me. To me, mana burn does feel mandatory, especially in the late game. But I guess we're still far away. From the lake game. Oh, surround. Almost. Oh, he does have it. But can't really hold it. Oh, or can he? Oh, six around. Nice done. My dice here. Close zoom on the archers. All right. Let's take a look. They look pretty similar to the campaign archers, I would say. Not bad, not bad. Demon Hunter gets the level 3 here, seems to have quite the lead. Naga now added 
on tier 2. On this map, there's only one shop, by the way, but it's approachable from two sides. On which, uh, on both sides, there are creeps as well. I think just got the crystal ball. Crystal ball. And now I'm going for dice as well. Doing a bit damage. Oh, and the art bitch just falls. Oh my god. Wait, didn't he have a TP? Oh yeah, right. He had to use it before. I forgot about it. He had to use the TP before, of course. And the rifleman. Oh, we also have special rifles, folks. Ginger rifles, I think. For Kazmodan. Yep. Rifles also having special skins here. It's a rough start. Oh my god, more rifles going down. Level 2 emulation doing good damage here. Emulation, of course, especially effective against militia. Oh, Jesus. Slowed down now, though, by the sorceress. We'll probably have to TP out in a second. But that rifle goes down as well. Oh my god, so many kills by dice. And now tier 3 is finishing. And the bears will be joining. We see the Ancients of Lore here also. Everything with the a specific... Wait. Under attack. The Sanctum doesn't have a new skin. The Sanctum is... Looking like the original. So the Sanctum and the Vault... Don't have special skins apparently. They should showcase all the maps. Yeah, they will. Every single map will be played. The full best of seven will be played out. And there's going to be additional prize money for every map. Looking quite impressive. <clears throat> Getting closer now to level 4, and Blade still needs some time to build up his decent army. Still doesn't have level 3 heroes. Look at it now, though. At long last. Oh, is Dice skipping Dryads? Ah, no. Now he's got Dryads coming. Just starting off with bears first, but also wants to have the dryads for the players for Creeping up the map, as it seems. I think this is something that should favor Dice quite a bit. Leveling up the heroes, getting the bear count out that he needs. The scariest thing is getting pushed by the rifles before you have the necessary amount of bears. But that now seems to be well behind him. Alright. Blade, though, still. Going for nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Just a straight up rifle push. Here we go. The shop in a bit of a bad position. Ideally, the shop should be back here. Behind the Moonwell wall. So this is perhaps the first mistake by Dice. Oh, big invuln, by the way. Found on the demon. That's a great item. But he doesn't have mana burn. So, it's 
gonna be. Plenty of water elementals. Plenty of fog lighting. Wait, he has a Murloc? Snare caster. Is that the guy who can cast slow? I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, the Naga taking a lot of damage. Is she just dead? Yeah. Well then. The troubles continue here for Blade. Of course, playing a Rifleman army against a Bear army is always tough to do, especially the bigger the armies grow. To do perfect kiting is a lot harder to manage than to just uh, be on A-click with the Bears. Quite close, in fact, to level 5. And the Naga to level 4. Dice has had a great game. But Blade isn't giving up yet. What's the item? It's on the ground! Medallion of Courage! Well, that would be quite nice for the Naga. Well, Naga on the other side, though, in trouble as well. Dice is gonna lose his second hero out of nowhere. Almost, but not quite. She was a bit out of position there, but does survive, waiting for more bears, for more rejuve, maybe. But actually, Dice isn't even going into upkeep. Patiently, sitting at 50, whereas we have Blade breaking into upkeep already. Okay, and now is Dice. Two more bears. No more Dryads, apparently. Players' forces are under attack. And the difficulty for Blade is still the same. He doesn't have tanks in the front line. It's all very squishy army. With the exception, perhaps, of the water elementals. Forces are under attack. Oh, he stole the medallion, didn't he? Yoink! Blades gladly took that one. There we go, Demon Hunter level 5. As I hear it thundering outside. Can you guys hear that? Does the microphone pick it up? A town is under siege. There's a storm brewing outside where I live in Mainz. Alright, here we go. Trying with the next push, but Dice has the better heroes, the better army, and more supply. Not by much, though. Oh, TP in, hits everything right away. The Dryad, though, easily sniped. And many of the bears and the demon can't really attack. This turns out to be a surprisingly bad position for Dice. Dude, is Blade gonna win this game out of nowhere? Look at the demon! He can't do anything! He's completely inactive. Demon Hunter in the back. But now, he finally can connect. Not gonna trouble with a GP save. Heal potion is there. Blade has taken the supply lead, killing another bear. His focus fire is doing a lot of damage for two O upgrades. There's gonna be an invis to get the Naga back to safety. And Dice must be surprised himself. This suddenly is a game in danger. But the Demoner is still looking strong, still looking scary. 
almost only the heroes left. At least on my offside. Oh, Archmage as well, he's in trouble. Oh, with a wisp block maybe, could have gone down. But the Demon Hunter seems to be unkillable here. Another rifle falls, the Naga gets level 5. Doesn't have mana at the moment though, but the reinforcements for Dice are going to be very strong. More bears for more rejuve. Oh, Archmage as well. Oh my god. Oh, Mo's going down. The demon doesn't have the boots. That makes chasing for him a bit harder. The staff is there. He has the double staff available. Oh, it looked like Blade almost had it. But this demon just seems to be too strong. And by now, he's not even so far away from the level 6 anymore. So many kills, easy to pick off. And there's a staff again, saving the demon back to the main. The bears are ready for a bit of rejuve. And Blade's finally gonna call it. Doesn't see a chance anymore. Move to map number two with Dice in the lead. Alright, first map is done. Let's see what we get for the second map. Yeah, Blade playing uh, a bit one dimensional, I want to say. Just one base, rifleman play. I'm not sure if that is still the best way to go. On the pro level, normally, it seems to be all about fast expansions nowadays. All right, and our next map is going to be Full Moon, which is a winter map. And fittingly, the buildings are going to be winter-themed. And a big specialty on this map is it's a three-player map. So you don't actually know where the opponent spawned, which uh, always makes things a bit weird. Let's see how they deal with it. You can see the skins of the buildings are different. Now it's time for the winter theme. And the models are made by Uchimasa Hojo from the Wonderful Hive Workshop. Send the alternate looks normal. 
Okay. So I guess uh, for this theme we don't have a special altar. Special treants over here. I remember these from the campaign. The and the fast level two, the keeper again proving to be quite good at creeping. And Blade is again going for the one base tech. All right. Still no expansion. I suppose this map looks a bit difficult with expansion. The gold mines seem to be very far away. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, we got special archers again. Okay, they have gray pants this time. That's a new look. Just heavily creeping. Oh, try to get the archer. The blade couldn't quite manage the block perfectly. And now the keeper is very close to that level up. One water elemental, I think, would be enough. Oh, wait, no. Level one water elemental is 42 experience, right? Level two is 57 or something. Oh, entangle on the illusion. That is unfortunate. Nice falling back, trying to get to the moon wells. Needs a bit more mana for more entangles, but this is a lot of footy pressure. Even with just level 2 Archmage, interestingly. A player's force is under attack. No trains being summoned, but the water elementals work out pretty well against them. The archers need to come back to help. But Bay's controlling this pretty well. I like how he's splitting his units. Targeting different things at the same time. Oh, and there is in fact no dust, so the archers can hide pretty easily. But Dice is uh, feeling the pressure here. A player's forces are under That's for attack. sure. Rifleman now coming, MK as well, and the Sanctum. What's the second hero this time? For Dice, I wonder. It is the Naga as well. Naga and Keeper, okay. Gonna force the TP right here. Ooh, that was close. the boys to get with the Archmage right here. And also we have special Rifleman this time. A bit more colorful than normal. Archmage really needs a priest to help him out. And the first two priests are now coming. Oh, this camp has a lot of purge. Double nulls. Kind of scary. It used to be also uh, represented on autumn leaves. 
at the lab. Double moles. But that was changed on a later version. I like the items here for the MK. Lots of HP on the little dwarf. Oh, Archmage gets caught with the entangle and the right clicks. Could this be the kill? Priest trying to heal him. Oh, this priest is so valuable right now. Where's the Stonebolt? Onto the Naga, not on the Keeper. Naga goes down. Oh, it may have been a bait. It may have been a bait. Keeper has to TP out. It's one archer going down. The rest will get away. And there, Dice was getting a little too thirsty for the kill. A little too greedy. Blade quick with a punish. And now Dice in a rough position. He's calling the boys already. It is time for the push. Just a bit. Stormwind, always a good item. Gonna pick that one up gladly. A player's forces are under Ancient Reformant also be getting caught in transit. The key was... Uh, I mean, the Naga... Wait, was she Tavern revived? Probably not. Just came back from the altar. And this time, this push is way scarier. Push is hitting early. The bears aren't ready yet. And Blade looking poised to take map two. And can he a bit more experience, 100 more for level three. But even without it, this push looking pretty scary. Entangle, focus fire. There's no dispel yet, apparently, which is kind of weird. One bear goes down. Illusions also soaking up some damage, but they die fairly quick. MK now might be getting killed. No dispel still. Try to transfer an item. Wait, what was that? I <laughs> didn't even have any items that would help. Good targeting, by the way. Taking out all the priests here basically right away is dice. So that's rifles left. There's still level 4 Archmage left. The healing is minimal on the Night Elf side. Staff to save the Naga, but can she be healed? MK coming back from the altar, it's gonna take a little while still. Rejuve. Desperately needed. Oh, we do have Dispel now, by the way. There it is. Dispel. Who's coming out for the detonates? The metal goes down. This rifle should also be falling. Oh, no, never mind. Quick to spell again. Keeper has to pop the invuln, but Dice has so little here. But there's another bear. Another rejuve. Not double rejuve anymore nowadays, but still helpful. It's waiting for the MK. And he is almost Player's back. There we go. Attack. Doesn't have boots, though. It's going to take him a while. To get back into action. Oh, and the keeper all of a sudden uh, level four. Useful. No rides here at the moment to slow down the rifles. But the bears might be taken over again, or are they? One more rifle falls. Where's the MK? Going for a Zeppelin on the high ground. Oh, too late to save that one. Okay, two storm bolts. They could be very effective. Probably wants to trigger the staff first before the storm bolt, ideally. But couldn't manage. MK about to get level three right here. Archmage, how much spin does he have? He's far away from five. There we go. Level three. Big level up. And a big heal potion. That is outstanding for this Mountain King. Five rifles, three priests, decent army. But Blade seems to be lacking some sorceresses. Adding them in now. Oh, Creepjack. 
with a big creep. Still up for grabs. He's gonna have to stumble this one. Not really. Talisman of Evasion, really good for the MK. That missed chance can make a big difference. in the game, of course, the Treants seem to be doing nothing anymore. The Priest's really working out well against the Keeper, and I think Blade now is going to put the nail in the coffin. Great clap. Super effective against the Bears. Double Orb of Venom is fairly good. I can't imagine it being good enough. More reinforcements coming in. Zeppelin also could help out to save some units. There we go. And now sorceresses will come into play as well. They're gonna be a big help. I think I'd love to see a shop here for Blade. More so than a tower. Wall of Venom still doing decent work, but once the heroes get targeted, that's gonna be in a rough spot, one would think. Of the MK. Lots of damage. I think the Watcher Metal got another kill in the back. Yep, that was a double level up. Archimage 5, MK4. He had the big healing. This game looks to be very, very over. Stormball flies. Opportunity for the kill. I think the staff's on cooldown. Yep. Is game. Blade keeps the series even. As we're getting ready for the next map. Blade again, uh, playing pretty damn standard, pretty by the book. Just a one base rifle play, I think. Uh, Dice was trying to dissuade him as his opponent from playing this by going Keeper. Normally Keeper is supposed to be the sturdy hero that can hold off against these pushes pretty well. But here, it worked out. All right, off we go. Map number three, and this is a very special one. On Crystals Below, we have an Overworld and an Underworld. Both players spawn on the Overworld, and if you go into the portals, you land down below where the Crystals are in the Underworld, where there's more gold mines and more creeps. So it's like a two-story map, which is quite unique. And now we have... The, uh, what is the autumn theme, maybe? Again, a different look, a different skin on all the buildings. The town hall looks really cool. I think I like this skin so far the best. <laughs> and this is a big straw man. 
Okay, cool. Demon Hunter again this time. Seems like Dice wasn't too satisfied with the Keeper. See a keep if we still see treants, the Sasquatch. And summon them. Finally, gonna expand this time. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> you might just play the same strat seven times in a row, which is also kind of funny. No, this time, not going for immolation, but rather evasion. And then later on, I imagine it should be mana burn. Might have tech this time ahead by a little bit. Oh, it is emulation. All right. He likes to make it burn. Go for the boots. Oh, yes, sir. In these moon wells, it's pretty hard to see how much mana there is. Reactions though against the dust. I'm just being pulled back to the moon wells. This one might be falling. The demon also getting a kill. Quite a bit of moon juice here to recover, but at least he's got a lot of mana, surprisingly. And sitting at the tavern, waiting for the tier 2. It should certainly be the Naga again. On both sides, I would say. Rifles and priests again. Oh, what's going on with these rifles? Are under attack. These look like uh, 
Dark Arts Rogue Rifles or something like that. Not bad, not bad. A player's forces are under attack. All right, big creep, Jack. Now, Demon Hunter almost level three, just needs the one kill. Oh, he was out of range for the XP. But at least the Naya got the level two. Using the Fog Lightning right away, she had plenty of mana. Looking for the kill on the enemy Naga. The Demon Hunter play seems really good. Great Demon Hunter control here by Dice. Gets the kill, TP's out. Got the level three. A player's forces are under attack. Three. Dice already has bears coming. And the second engine of lore. Tier 3, though, still a ways out. And in fact, supply wise, it does a hugely here. Perhaps there still is an opportunity to go for the push. The strand that he has been favoring so much. Potion looking for the kill. Can he get it? I think he will. Slow didn't affect him here. One more right click. That is the end. Naga, though, in return, might also be going down. Fog Lightning used before she falls, but she does die in the end. Oh, the bear coming in for the rejuve. Oh, that's so good. And there's no dispel here. Oh, that might be the game winning rejuve. Not over yet. Still on paper, a huge supply lead here for the human. Naga coming back, she was only level one. That is very fast. Massing, I think. Not too bad at all against the Hunter. But he sells it. Alright. Oh yeah, look at the Naga for dice. She has like, I mean for Blade. He's got like no experience. Only 80. Oh, fake name, by the way. Just pledged to Patreon. Thank you very much. A player's forces are under and also Charlie Silent with the resub and Savage. Thank you guys. But Blaze is always losing a few units here or there. Dice is doing a good job finding pickoffs where he can. Forces are under attack. Just getting creeped back. May have to TP out here. Try to get the big item with the big mana potion again. He had that earlier already. TPing up. Now, Naga though might be in trouble with a fork lightning. She goes down. Not quite enough, fast enough to save it. Oh, and the bear gets caught by the slow, and so do the archers. Oh my god, Dice losing everything here. Oh, big time yikes. Does it actually does have a staff to save at least the bear? But Dice has so little. Only a couple of bears. The Naga's still dead. Blade has a really good opportunity here to win map number three.
very annoying to deal with a slow. You can try to use Wisps to dispel it, but that drains your own mana. Waiting for the Naga. When is she back? Still a couple of seconds out. I like the detonates. Will they be good enough? Huge army now, all of a sudden, the blade. 60 supply. Looking to take the lead in this series. America's level 3 has one fog lightning at least. The demon is out of mana. Now there's not so much he can do anymore. He doesn't even have an orb, by the way. Naga is the one carrying the orb. of Naga, the one for Blade now, all of a sudden in trouble as well. But getting more kills, getting a level 3, that's a big time Frog Lightning. And the Demon Hunter forced into his last heal potion. And this here map will go to Blade. No way to stop it anymore, I think. Find one more time with the anti-magic potion that lasts for 15 seconds. Also had a heal pot. Demon is still pretty tough to bring down, but everything else seems to be falling easily. And now, most of the arcane towers are about to be ready. Oh, nice. All of a sudden, is finding quite some kills, though. I might be able to get the tower cancel as well. Yeah, gets the one at least. The other one finished. 15 supply. I mean, need we say more? <laughs> Building a lumber mill here to trap in the heroes. Dice is gonna call it. GG. And that's two maps in a row for Blade. Taking the lead. And it seems to just keep on working for some reason. Normally this pushes, if they keep getting attempted over and over, the Night Elf at some point is supposed to adjust, react, and be able to hold them, but it doesn't seem to be working here. Now, that is not that that's not to say that I know what exactly he has to do. Honestly, the early game is looking pretty good for dice at times, but then in the end, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be enough. All right, member four being hosted. Zul Alor is going to be our next destination. <laughs> is it just going to be a rifle push again? <laughs> rifle push every single game? Um, well, let's find out. Dice in the bottom right, and blade in the top left.
Demon Hunter and Archmage again. It seems like the Keeper was just a one-off. And we're back to the... What is this? Spring tile set? And not, not tile set. Skin theme. Are those models a new patch? No, they are community made by a Hive Workshop member. A player's forces are under attack. And they're kind of nifty. Oh, dude. Even the clock is the the symbol of a moon. That's pretty cool. I like that. Emulation creeping, once again. And blade again with attack. One base rifles seems to be his favorite thing at the moment. A player's forces are under attack. go down in the end. The amount taking a lot of damage, but the replenishment potion here is a wonderful find. Doesn't actually pop it yet though. Oh, okay. Now oh, it does. A player's forces are under attack. Blade again wants to lay the groundwork, do some damage early before the actual push is coming later on. Oh, Engine of War. Should be going down here, right? Absolutely. It's kind of a big deal. Engine of War helps up in defense and also could have been perhaps used to creep some more. Players' forces are under attack. Demon at the shop. Go for the telly staff and boots. Oh, the wisp! Ooh, that was really crucial. But actually, there's an opening. <laughs> the demon can just walk in. Oh, and he's level three. Guys, he's level three. Where's the fire? Where is it? There we go. Immolation active. And... Oh my god, is he really gonna fight this with the militia? Really? Archmage across the map, but the demon seems like a way more dangerous foe here. Oh my god. Oh my god, the damage. The humanity. Thank you, Jack Mayo. With the resub. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, the damage. Yikes. TP out now, but that was so much damage inflicted. 
We don't need, even have a sanctum yet. And now we can pair the gold mines. 9,300 now against 8,850. 450 gold lost on top of that. Nice coming out swinging here on map 4. Wants to tie up the series. And the simulation is doing some good work. Oh, but the Naga might be falling. Oof. One hit away from death. The miner is going back. Back to the peasants. Oh my god, there's only seven peasants. And five of them are super hurt. Yikes. No wall off. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh, almost got that one as well. Yeah, I think we may want to go to the next map, folks. Staff home. Nicely done by Dice. Finds the weakness. Finds the punish. And the demon can do this again with his when his telly staff is ready. It has a 90 second cooldown. Mage is level three. That's something. And some big items here in the metal four blade. Oh, Zeppelin play. <laughs> I'm not sure how much uh, how much good old Blade is enjoying this game. Perhaps not that much. He was expecting there to be a wall by now. <laughs> but there's still no wall. Yeah, GG. <clears throat> this was too much. Good play by Blade. Finds the weakness. And... Yeah, it's a, it's a joy to behold. Demon Hunter with level 2 immolation against peasants. Ooh. Crispy times. Crispy, crispy times. So this time, hopefully, there's going to be a wall off, or at least an arcane tower. It seems like humans not going for an arcane tower might be a bit too greedy. Especially nowadays, with the arcane tower being so good against heroes. All right, and we're wasting no time jumping into the next game. Now it's 2-2. Last week already in the other show match, it was also a very close encounter. Seems like here as well, it's an evenly matched encounter. Are we finally 
gonna see an expansion by Blade. <laughs> like, normally humans switch up their playstyle, but Blade may just go through with it the entire way. We'll see. This is the winter theme again of the building skins. On the human side, you can see it very clearly. On the night elf, it's uh, very purpley. Cam should give a lot of experience, right? It's definitely gonna have to be emulation creeping then. A player's forces are under attack. Play also going for the lab creep. Beast. Ooh, that's a terrible item. Pretty unlucky there, but that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're unlucky. I put it in the hand. Big mana potion. Very good. Sells the big mana potion. Really? Okay. Quite a few footmen here. First archer goes down. Now trying to get level three. He's very close. Needs two footy kills. All right, here we go again. Six footmen is quite the formidable number. Oh wait, blade is supply blocked. Oh, he's not making new farms. He needs to realize this fast. the moon well set up here. Two over here, two over here. We can still move between them. Still no farm. Blade forgetting about the farm for a really long time. And that's level 3 D Manor. Quick for level 2 Malaysian. Mage still needs a bit more, but he's gonna get another archer, so that makes for three archer kills total, I believe. But it would seem like more footies went down. Now only with the farm. A player's are good thing is he can power build. All good. It's gonna be time for the Naga yet again. Both. Oh, that was, was actually level 3. That's a bit unfortunate.
and Sanctum is coming. <laughs> Blade is really just sticking with the same strat over and over. I guess so is Dice, more or less. Oh, wait. No tier 3? There's no wall off again. And the demon hunter is back, baby. Probably gonna have to use the TP to get home. But this could very well be worth it. Trying to save as many militia as he can. Oh, Naga and archers for dice are coming in from the other side, trying to get the kills on the peasants. Ooh, this is nicely done. Can save her as well with the TP, which is gonna be needed. Now, is everything in range? Yes. There was a lot of kills on the peasants. Blade is still fully mining from the gold mine, but I won't be able to bring too many peasants for the push if he wants to push, which so far he always did. A player's forces are tier under three attack. seems a bit late. Three Archmage, Clary running. He's gonna have so many water elementals. Seems like Dice will certainly need Wisps to defend against this push. Don't know which item we got. And here we go. Wisps are coming. That meaning one of the water elementals, but the lore in the back got cancelled. Oh, only a single lore now. This is looking terrible for dice. No potion the demon trying to get the kill. I think he will. Fog lightning secures it. But the invuln won't last forever. Oh, Archer's in trouble as well, but so is the Archmage. Oh, dice might be able to force the TP here by himself a lot of time. Didn't pull the teepee. Oh, and a rifle caught in the back as well. Blade, what's going on? Over chasing, over extending. He's gonna get the supply again, maybe, with a tavern res. Naga jumps out of the altar. But I guess Blade doesn't have the gold for the tavern res. Has to wait for the Archmage. Just normally from the altar. That will take forever. Dice goes for the Shredder, the madman. A player's forces are under attack. Still only has one lore, by the way. <laughs> Just single lore. Hunter on level four. A player's forces are under attack. Dice's favorite army. Demon, Naga, and Bears. Periad, very good for the Demon as well. Should give that over later. A player's forces are under attack. Man, this took forever. Only now the Archmage is back. And when the Demon is trying to hit the main base again, attack the peasants. But this time, there is a wall off. All right.
Blade somehow has supply lead again. The player's forces are under attack. Guy's trying to take a fight out in the open, away from his movements. Big fog lightning. Death camp also getting a bit interested. Staff is there, Naga is saved. And a lot of damage from the Demon. Anti-magic and the immolation running. And this is like an easy fight for Dice right here, or does it? Bears, partly hurt. But there's no stat, no slow anymore. Oh, the creeps from the red camp. Still looking for more. Naga goes down. <laughs> the Demon with the boots. Chasing for so many kills. Level 5 already. Level 3 immolation, baby. And that is game. GG. This game turned on its head. Blade had a really good position early, but kind of squandered it. Sometimes that happens. Overextending, overchasing, losing too much in the end. Dice with three map wins, match point, so to speak. But uh, even if he wins early, we're going to play every single map. Every single map is worth more prize money. Trying to join the game. There might be a bit of a bug. Alright, there we go. And map number six is one of my all-time favorites, Brightwater Oasis by the map maker Mafe, which is an absolutely gorgeous looking map. I am looking forward to this one. Thank you, Platine89 with the resub. It says, what happened to Classics Graphics? At least we've got Classic Remo. And Messaman with the resub as well. It says two years, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go on to map number six. The second last map here in our best of seven series. And it is one of my absolute favorites. Whitewater Oasis. All right, let's take a look what we get. Is going to the lab first. Is this level two, by the way? I don't think so. No. 
Needs a bit more. <clears throat> Passive creeping here at the start seems like that is a necessity on this map because there's not really many contestable green easy camps in the middle There's one over here in the corner and one over here in the corner But I think they only have tomes, so they don't seem to be too valuable. I feel like if we were to update this map There should be more easy oh, early game camps in the middle. Attack. That seems to be a pretty Cool addition that we've seen from many maps especially like Tidehunters Wait, is it the item? No. Archman with the double ring and the mantle. Man fighting against the demon hunter. Oh, both very hurt, both in trouble. Oh my god, he's all the lasted. Lol, I think he did. With the archer. A player's forces are under attack. Archmage continuing to creep, he's almost level 3. This little green camp here should be enough. And for dice... Gonna see bears again, one would assume. It's kind of low gold though, right? Five archers and boots cost him quite a bit. Oh, no wells. at the tavern ready for the second hero the naga joins as she has so often blade going on the aggressive a town is under siege a he's looking for lures are under attack. but they haven't been started yet so plan b go for the wisps but the main base is open, but there's an Arcane Tower here. A lot of mana drain, when he doesn't miss against evasion. The peasants need to be covered by that Arcane Tower, otherwise they just get ripped apart. But Blade doesn't want to lose the game of chicken. He's also the one attacking. Oh, the tower, the tower must be active. Call to arms being used. All the boys being called. And since there's no immolation anymore, I think they should be able to hold here. Maybe. The footies in the Naga in the meantime on the other side don't seem to be doing that much. Oh, Blade is taking a lot of damage here. He's gonna lose almost every single worker. With more peasants falling, they're being remade. But is that in time? I don't know. Blade going for the Tree of Eternity now. This game has gotten really weird. And the rifles by themselves don't seem to be doing don't seem to be doing it either. Militia trying their best. The shredder of all things is coming home to defend. <laughs> Both are refusing to TP home. But I think Dice is going to have to TP. Ooh, the Shredder goes down. That's an expensive loss. Yeah, the Tree of Eternity is super hurt. Dice, yeah, he has to TP. Can he defend? With the Moon Juice, I think so. Oh, 
Wait, 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 wait. Whisk coming in for the repair. Okay, Tree of Eternity is saved. And the demon is trying to clean up the rest. He's kind of close to level 4 already. Good save by Dice. Alright. Tier 3. Gonna be finishing soon. What's going on in the main base for Blade? 12 supply. Oh my god. <laughs> now starting Naga again. Back to 17. Yeah, and I think we can, with that, clearly tell who's ahead. Wait, does Blade not have a single unit? Blade until a moment ago didn't have a single unit. Now he has one priest. The Archmage falls. This will be game. He has a TP though. Needs to TP to safety. And that he does. Wait, did he cancel one of his own lores? Ah, I guess the Water Elemental was able to do that. <laughs> Both players just have no units. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But we do have a Zeppelin and, excuse me, one Archer. Demon playing with fire. Oof. Very close. The Zeppelin now also in a bit of trouble. Good movement above the trees, though, prevents it from crashing and burning. Archer goes down. Again, we're back to no units. Alright, Blade's climbing his way back up, maybe. Dice still has lots of gold he can spend once he has the second lore. step here. Demon are continuing to creep. Getting close to the level 4. In fact, Dice getting close to the double level up. Naga level 3 right now. Blade also building back up his army. Considering how catastrophic things looked earlier, all of a sudden Blade surprisingly in a playable position. And Dice needs more bears. Oh, but guess what he also has? The Demon Hunter ready to drop into the main base. Again, there's no wall off, by the way. There's an Arcane Tower. Will that be enough? Well, <laughs> Demon is still doing good damage. Real good damage. He's out of mana, but the Orb of Venom is still doing a tremendous job. And he has the Telly Staff. This might be a checkmate play. A player's forces are under attack. Now Blade is getting super far ahead in the gold department. Compare the gold mines, shall we? 6,500 against 5,400. More than a thousand gold advantage for dice. There's basically no damage to threaten the demon hunter. 
So Blade has to go for the counterattack, push the opponent's main base, and force the demon to return that way. And that is going to be successful. Did you just buy a mana potion? I oh, know he used the mana potion he found. He's so. magic on the demon as well. Now he can't really be tamed, he can't really be slowed. Useful. Oops, Mystic on the Riots, a little bit. Mark Mage. Oof, almost got surrounded. That would have been the kill. And the game. But even without that kill, look at the supply for dice. He's up by 20. With the better tech and the better heroes. And the Naga in trouble as well with the fourth lightning. Gets the execute and the fourth map win. Four dice. Brightwater Oasis goes to the Night Elf as well. And that means we have one last map to be played. After the last map, by the way, I'm going to be going off and Neo is going to be playing uh, the Re-Reforged campaign. Should be happening right after our last map here. And for the last map, we have Deja Vu. Also a map that I feel is... I think that's actually the best map out of all the ones we have in here. I'm a huge fan of Brightwater Oasis, but I might be a bit biased. It might not be the very best map design in terms of, you know, balance and all. But uh, I just like the map so much, especially because of the visuals. But in terms of actual map quality, Deja Vu... Might indeed be the best. Let's find out. Oh, Night End with the raid. Thank you, my man. Hope you're doing good. I see that you were playing quite a bit of Orc recently. Interesting, interesting. All right, what do we have here? Dice in the top right. The first time this whole series... Wait, let me update the score. And the map... That's for her first time playing a neutral hero. And I think I've seen by Lawlight before here a panda first. Let's see if it is that or something else. Could a Beastmaster be good? Seems like this map is too big for a Beastmaster, too big to go for pushes and stuff. I feel like Panda should be the best choice here on this big macro map. But of course, playing against Blade, you need to have something that's good against a push. Beastmaster is pretty good against a push. Panda... I would say not really. I am curious. I am intrigued. plan here is. We haven't had a very long game yet. We haven't had any expansions, in fact. It was just one base, push stuff all the time. Oh! 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 Blade finally gonna play an actual expansion, it looks like. And it is the Panda. Alright, good read by DICE. Predicting correctly that his opponent won't be pushing this time, but rather is going to be playing expansion, macro. And with that, the Panda is pretty good if we move towards the late game with high levels. Go. Oh, level 2 for the Archmage right away. A 
town is under siege. Level 2 also for the panda. Big healing for him. It's quite nice. Not using any Breath of Fire for creeping, interestingly. Earlier, the fire from Immolation was very popular. Now it is the Breath of Fire from the Panda. Dice today, a fiery boy. Where is the Breath, though? He's not using the Breath for the longest time. The issue, of course, for the panda is he doesn't have fast move speed, so it's much harder for him to chase for kills. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Alright, breath. There we go. The breath animation is buggy for me at the moment. You can't see it. But uh, smart Warcraft folks as you are, I'm sure you can realize it regardless. Breath of Fire again. I gotta say, Dice's Panda play is not looking as convincing as his Demon Hunter play, I would say. Player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. The expansion is up and safe. This looks like a very good start for Blade. We do have a tree of life here, by the way, for Dice, but he doesn't have the time. He's not being left alone. Oh, nice block. Footy goes down. Thanks to the next brother fire. Panda, though, still lacking quite a bit for that level 3. He won so dearly. Late in the meantime, teching, macroing up. And this looks so clean for him. Maybe Blade should have played the more expansions. Seems to me like the human is in a strong position here now. Panda finally got the boots. Really needs those. He's the first hero. Also needs that level 3 though. And he's not there yet. Archmage could do with a bit more creeping himself. Only barely level 2. He got no experience from this attack. And is going to be falling behind in levels if he doesn't start creeping soon. Oh, Panda on the main base. There's no arcane tower yet. Has an opportunity here to do good damage. Not quite the same as Immolation, but still these peasants a bit, especially now that he is level 3. There we go. Arcane Tower almost done, but the panda is smartly moving away from the Arcane Tower range. He's got one more breath. Yeah, and now he can pick off one at a time. Out of mana. Doesn't care about the Arcane anymore. But, oh, is he going to pop the heal potion here? Go Tilly Staff. Heal potion first, right? Wants to stick around. And if a second hero, alchemist. Oh, and look at the special alk. Special look, alchemist. New skin. Taste my fiery potion. Slow and level 2 Archmage. Seems like he's not that threatening. Where's the panda? Still chilling over here in the main base, taking out so many peasants. Oh my god. This big healing was definitely worth it. Has a staff out now. Saves himself. Also, the archers died. Lots of stuff died everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Trio of Ages has to help defend here. That's a bomba. Again, more footies falling. Alchemist got almost level 2 already, but healing is not going to be easy. 
The Moondras is looking dire. Are under yeah, um... Dice really needs skill spray. And also a shot. I like this map. Deja Vu. I think this is a really good map. Wait, is this the one with the shipyards? Oh yeah, it is. It has shipyards. You can go for boats here. We're starting to have bears as well, but we're far from master training. These bears just good for Rejub at the moment. Double alchemist! Oh, this is the sea giant skin alchemist. Players' forces are under Stop attack. walking, goddammit. I want to look at you. Ah, there we go. Looks pretty cool. Sea giant ogre and what looks like an acolyte on top. Looks like we don't have to spell yet. Just a handful of rifles here making things difficult for Blade. Who's the panda? Where is the panda? A player's forces are oh. under attack. He's harassing again. Both players under pressure. Who can deal with it better? Ooh, next breath of fire. Good damage. We got two more breaths of fire. Arcane tower placement. Not the best. <laughs> Should have been rather here. But also, smart by dice to see the weakness there to position his panda perfectly. Oh, that's so much lost gold, dude. 7,300 against 6,500. But dice losing all of his moon wells. He is ultra supply blocked. Still doesn't want to TP home with a panda. Maybe now. Maybe the Telly staff is on cooldown, though. Yeah, he's TPing. To the expansion to the shop. And now with the Breath of Fire, things get a lot easier. Level 2 Drunken Brawler as well, by the way. Decent crit and... Brawler's magic still not finished yet. These... Waterman is still tough to deal with. Mana Potion, Breath of Fire, though. Panda still putting in the damage. He's got another Mana Potion as well. The Alchemist is about to reach level 3. But the Breakers are here. There's a bit of Priest heal as well. This human army has a lot of recovery. Panda getting slow, making things difficult for him. Blade. On the verge of winning this map, perhaps. If he takes out the Lords, there's going to be no more production for dice. Dice is in dire straits here. Using the Alchemist. No, he can survive with the Chemical Rage, but he never had Heal Spray. Which seems like a mistake. Triple unit production for Blade in the meantime. Panasia level 5. That's the one way to do it. Panda level 5 to solo carry this game. Archimage got the kill, was able to run down the Alchemist. That's good experience for him as well. Player's forces are under so close. So, so close with low five. <laughs> Missing one point of experience. But then again, without mana, how much is that level five really worth? Blade is relentlessly pushing and about to win this last map, it seems like. The full best of seven show match in the No Smoking Cup 5 show match series. We're displaying new maps here. And also, especially this time, with new skins. Also, come on, give him the kill. Oh, 
Just give him the kill, bro. He's so close to five. I could have used double rejuve from the bear. A little mistake. Again, didn't use the rejuve. That's a bit sloppy by dice. Did he just cancel his own rejuve with the anti magic? Maybe it was the breaker. There we go, level five. All right, and the panda do it alone. Questionable, especially considering that there are breakers. Archmage as well, almost level four. Oh, the panda getting slow on his way towards the shop, but there is still a bit of moon juice, still a heal potion. This put has been lost, lasting for a long time. Good survival skills by Dice not being killed off yet. But how the hell is he ever supposed to find a winning position? He's going back to harass, but that basically... Uh, dooms his main base. Without the panda, there's no way this can be held. Big human army here. 70 supply, knocking on the Players front door. Archmage now finally level 4. This is a nice little help as well. Oh, Alchemist slowed. Might be getting surrounded. Should be. That's a ton of units. Yup. He's stuck. The bear's dead. Should be. And that's it. GG is called. And also today it's a 4 to 3. Last map going to Blade. The first time we didn't see the one base push. The expansion play seemed to work out quite well for him. And there we go. All the maps have been shown. This was just a prelude, by the way, to the sm No Smoking Cup number 5. These were just the show matches. When exactly the real tournament is going to be happening, we don't know yet, but we're going to keep you guys updated. Thanks again to Nightmare2077 for organizing this and sponsoring the prize pool. I'm always a big fan of discovering new maps and seeing if they can make it into the competitive pool. And the No Smoking Cup helps with that and for No Smoking Awareness. And that's it for me today. I'm going to be back tomorrow for the TED Cup 15 group stage, 1 p.m. CEST. If you guys want to join, you're more than welcome. Games are going to be awesome. But we are not done for the day yet because Neo is going to take over the stream in just a moment. He wants to test out one of the new um, re reforged campaigns. I don't know exactly what that is, but if you guys want to find out, stay tuned. Neo should be starting the stream in a moment. Until then, I say goodbye, good night. I'll see you tomorrow for the TED Cup. Take care.